Welcome to Michigan in Focus, powered by thecentersquare.com. This episode features a piece by Center Square Michigan reporter Scott McClellan, headlined, quote, Michigan's spending spree is unsustainable, economist says, end quote. Here's the story. Since the pandemic began, Michigan has embarked on an unsustainable spending spree, says James Hammond, the director of fiscal policy at the Mackinac Center for Public Policy. Hammond said in a statement, Quote, Michigan lawmakers will spend every dollar that they receive in revenue and state taxes have increased faster than residents' ability to pay since the pandemic began. This is fundamentally unsustainable and lawmakers should practice restraint. Spending less would protect taxpayers, stabilize the budget, and ensure that lawmakers have flexibility to meet unexpected needs, end quote. Hammond said Michigan's five newly created agencies since 2020 aren't as consequential as the sheer spending, Hammond said. Quote, spending more than $2 billion on pork projects is worse than dividing spending up into different offices, end quote. He is referring partly to a $715 million subsidy to Goshen's electric vehicle plant near Big Rapids and a $1.75 billion subsidy to Ford Motor Company's EV plant that aimed to make Michigan a leader in the EV transition. Michigan has fallen 1.9 million electric vehicles, short of reaching its 2030 target goal. After a record $82 billion in the 2024 budget, Michigan has only $250 million or 2.7% left of the state's $9 billion surplus. The state's Budget Stabilization Fund, or Rainy Day Fund, brings the balance to nearly $2 billion by the end of fiscal year 2024. Governor Gretchen Whitmer posted on social media that the spending in agencies will help Michigan families. Whitmer said, quote, When Michigan families thrive, Michigan thrives. We're taking concrete steps to lower costs in Michigan. From healthcare to education, from housing to utilities, we're working hard to ensure you have more money in your pocket, end quote. The second term governor has expanded the government through the Office of Future Mobility and Electrification, Michigan's high-speed internet office, the Office of Rural Development, and the Michigan Department of Lifelong Education, Advancement and Potential. For example, the latest budget will hire 899 people. The National Association of State Budget Officers says Michigan's total expenditures in fiscal year 2022 were $86.2 billion, including general funds, other state funds, bonds, and federal funds. The U.S. Census Bureau says Michigan's combined state and local direct general expenditures were $97.9 billion in fiscal year 2021, or $9,750 per capita. Michigan promised $1.75 billion for Ford's electric vehicle battery plant that slashed $1 billion in planned production and cut 800 promised jobs. The subsidy included $630 million in site infrastructure development, $772 million in tax credits over 15 years through the Michigan Strategic Neighborhood Fund, a $120 million grant through the Michigan Strategic Site Readiness Program, a $210 million grant through the Michigan Critical Industry Program and $36 million through the Jobs for Michigan Investment Fund Loan Program. For context, $1.75 billion is more than Michigan paid in unemployment benefits to every unemployed person in 2021, four times more than all Michigan homeowners combined were able to deduct in homestead property tax exemptions in 2021, and more than a year's worth of state government revenue sharing with the state's municipal governments. A consensus revenue estimating conference will convene at 9 a.m. on January 12th in the House Appropriations Committee room in the Capitol to present economics and revenue forecasts for fiscal year 2023-24, fiscal year 2024-25, and fiscal year 25-26. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. This podcast was made with the assistance of AI technology. Please subscribe and thanks for listening. Are you tired of news that puts politics over people? At the nonprofit Franklin News Foundation, we believe in putting people over politics by delivering nonpartisan news and audio content that serves you, the American taxpayer. With Franklin News Foundation, you can read fact-based, state-focused news for free at thecentersquare.com. You can listen to civil, balanced conversations between policy experts through our podcast network at americastalking.com. Or you can get in-depth news on K-12 education spending, curriculum, and school safety at chalkboardnews.com. It's all free through Franklin, where we put you, the American taxpayer, first in every story, episode, and conversation. 
and it's only possible through our supporters. Together, we can produce content that puts people over politics and brings Americans the news they deserve. Become a supporter today at franklinnews.org slash donate. Once again, that's franklinnews.org slash donate.